What's good? What's good? We're back. Yours truly, one and only Paul Picker, host of the Paul Picker Podcast, aka Triple P, aka the Conversation Podcast. Your source for music, sports, politics, what events, and much, much more. Today, I'm going to react to a video. Uh, man caught red-handed smoking weed in virtual courtroom cam. Um, I can only laugh about this one. But before we do, we're going to get into a word from Dizzle Brand Premium Luxury Liqueur. You pour it, gotta watch it bubble up. I ain't gonna lie, I cannot get enough. What Cali said, I need another one. Gonna have you coming back for more, but go get it while it's hot. For be sold out in your stores. That this one. I really mean it. First things first, I want to say happy birthday to the creator of Dizzle, Mike Dizzle. I think it was his birthday yesterday or the day before. So happy birthday to Mike Dizzle, who created Dizzle back in 2001. As you see, I got the Dizzle hat on. We got the Dizzle shirt. And Dizzle is a premium luxury liqueur mixed with agave tequila, cognac, and orange liquor mango mix. Just throw your Dizzle on ice, and it's nice. If you want to order your very own bottle or bottles of Dizzle premium luxury liqueur, go to DizzleBrand.com. You see it? Order at DizzleBrand.com. Go to the homepage. You'll see... A button that says order online. Click on that. It's going to take you to Emilio's Beverage. And make sure you're 21 and over. Shipping and handling is included. Also, if you want the hat, the T-shirt. I definitely love this T-shirt. You see how it's shining? You see it shining? Shining. Uh, the black and gold. We got the we got the white and blue. We got the white and red. All types of fresh Dizzle Brand shirts at DizzleBrand.com on the merchandise store. It's also available on Etsy.com, E-T-S-Y.com. Search for Dizzle Brand. Also, the Dizzle Brand gummies are available at DizzleNova.com. I prefer the strawberries myself. If you're a sour person, you might like the lemons. They also got the uh, blueberry. So uh, definitely check those out at DizzleNova.com. All the links will also be in the description. All right, let's get into it. in Ann Arbor, Michigan. 36-year-old Anthony Lane is before Judge Cedric Simpson for a virtual conference. Six months earlier, Lane was charged with one count of possessing methamphetamine or ecstasy and one count of possessing a narcotic, cocaine, or heroin. Today, Lane is requesting to waive his right to a probable cause hearing and have his case sent straight to circuit court. Mr. Lane, please state your name for the court. Anthony Lane. Good morning, sir. And All right. How you doing? Be a, a waiver for uh, continued plea negotiations and resolution in circuit. You understand you'll not have that hearing and you'll proceed to circuit court for further resolution. Yes, sir. Everything seems to be going as planned until the judge asked the prosecutor if he also agrees to waive the probable cause hearing. People also waive their right. Your Honor, I'll agree to waive, but I do want to make a statement on the record. Uh, it appeared that earlier in this time block that uh, Mr. Lane was rolling a blunt and uh, might have been smoking. Earlier that day, while Lane waited in the virtual courtroom, he decided to have a smoke. Another defendant waiting for the judge did a double take when he noticed what Lane was up to. While recreational marijuana use is legal in Michigan, Lane is out on bond and strictly prohibited from taking any drugs or controlled substances. Lane looked cautiously out the vehicle's window, but paid no attention to the phone in front of him that was broadcasting what he was doing, not only on the internet, but directly to the court. He continued smoking during the session, 
and flaunted the blunt up close while Judge Simpson was handling other cases. Court staff took notice and informed the prosecutor. Your Honor, given that information, I guess we need to adjourn the PCC so Mr. Lane and I can speak further before we wait. Yeah. I think that might be wise. Mr. Lane, you understand what's happening now? Yeah. As part of his bond conditions, Lane is also supposed to be taking regular drug tests. When's the last time you tested? Uh, two weeks ago. You were supposed to be testing two times per week. I Sorry. tested back to, I tested back to back. Okay, but have you tested this week? No, sir. I'm also going to order that you're to report to Community Corrections today for a test. Uh, Your Honor, I have no ride today. Well, you better find somebody to get you a ride down here. I'm ordering right. a test. Today. I'm a, you, you're the one that brought this on yourself by what you did. So I'm ordering a test today. Okay. If you sir. Don't test today, I'm going to be issuing a warrant to have you picked up. But as the judge moves on, Lane lingers on the call and lets out a laugh. <laughs> well, you, keep, you keep laughing, Mr. Lane. I don't think you want to do that. Not with me. You better take yourself off before you think things are too funny. Thank you. I wasn't Have laughing at you, sir. I wasn't laughing at you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Court calls case, People versus Chandler Langston. Lane never made it to community corrections that day, nor did he appear at his next conference. Judge Simpson issued a warrant for his arrest and revoked bond. His oh, man. Um... How dumb can you be, man? How dumb can you be? You know, take this from a, a guy who smokes a lot of weed. I'm kind of like a white Wiz Khalifa or white Snoop Dogg. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a music promoter, you know, so and I'm a rapper, I'm a hip hop artist, but like you know some people just so hot boy with their shit. They're just so hot boy with their shit, like I don't like doing nothing that's top boy shit. I don't like, that's the thing. Like, you could tell this dude is on the hot boy shit. He doesn't care. He does all the hot boy shit. Like, I still have a certain kind of, um, I, I don't want to say morals or a certain kind of respect on how I do things. I, I just don't be wide open with things. You know, I don't just, like, for example, like, um, I don't blatantly just walk down the street um, smoking weed on the sidewalk. Um, I don't blatantly, uh, I don't blatantly, like, uh, do drug, like, buy weed out in public and things of that nature. Even though um, it's legalized here for medical, it's not legalized for recreational yet, but they do sell vapes and gummies which is really kind of contradictory to me and hypocritical that they sell actual vapes but they still won't actually legalize the flower yet um but yeah like i still have a respect factor you know what i'm saying i still do it in the comfort of my own home i don't be hot boy with it all i don't do things out in public that I know I shouldn't be. Um, this guy blatantly just rolling a blunt up on a court cam. Like, you can't wait. Is, is it really that bad that you can't wait? I mean, I smoke a ton of weed. And if I got to do a court thing, i wait, you know. If I, like, I know maintenance guys got to come through to fix something. I'm not going to just smoke my crib up before they come through, you know. If I know, um, like, if I knew, like, police were coming to my door to 
to ask me some questions about something. I wouldn't just say, hey, let me just go and blaze my um, crib up and let the chronic smoke smack them in the face once they open the door. You know, I just still have a certain respect on how I do things. You know, I don't bring, um, you know, I don't bring pe- like everybody into my world of smoking weed heavily and stuff like that. Even like when I have friends over, um, like some friends that don't smoke, I'll be, I'll, I'll be like, you know, I'll be respectful. Like, yo, you don't mind if I smoke? Uh, you know, like this up and they'd be like, yo, you know, they always like your show crib, this, that, the third. But I still, when I got friends that don't smoke, I don't know if they actually have a job where they might piss test or something, you know, cause they don't smoke and everybody is not into smoking weed. Some people just don't like it. They just don't, they don't like it. They don't like the feel of it. Um, none of that. They don't, some people they say it just makes them dumbfounded, makes them go to sleep or it just makes them want to eat all the time. For me, that's not, that's not, you know, it's not the case. Like I can work 24 seven on it. Um, I work better on it. Um, Cause that's the thing. Like if I got a little buzz. I mean, I feel better about doing my job and like, especially when my job's boring, like when jobs are boring and, and your job's not exciting. I mean, my, my, my job is passionate, but it's boring. Like I promote music for a living, but it's boring. It's 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 a boring job. It's it's pitching music to playlists, setting up ads, pitching into TikTok influencers, Instagram influencers, you know, uh, getting blog placements, uh, at, you know, pitching it to record pools and DJs. It, it's it's boring, but it's passionate because I love music, you know. But this cat, man, I mean, he just shot himself in the foot. And you use an excuse of you can't get a ride with a judge. You better walk. And he knew, he knew as soon as he made that face, he fucked up. He, he, that's the thing. He didn't even know this whole time that he rolled that blunt, smoked that blunt, why the camera was on him and why court was in session. You know, like, dude, you, you should have just waited, man. It, it's like, that was plain stupidity, straight idiotic. Um, no respect for nothing, man. Like this dude, uh, this dude has no respect for nothing. Like I just told you, I would have a friend come over that doesn't smoke, it, and I would, yo, you don't mind if I light this up? You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I try to be respectful. I yes, it's my crib. I can do what the fuck I want in my crib. You know, I can walk around butt ass naked in my crib all day. Do whatever the fuck, kick people out, but still have a respect. Like when people don't smoke, I don't necessarily force them to just have smoke blown in their face and, and force them into my world of I like to smoke weed, you know, just because they don't smoke weed. Not all my friends are Rasta Jafarian, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa cats like me. Some are. But not all of them are. I got a lot of friends that actually smoke zero weed. You know? Same thing with uh, my friend Mr. J came over. I didn't smoke no weed in the crib while I was here because I know he doesn't smoke weed. And I don't know if his job might piss test him or things of that nature. You know, it's just a respect factor thing. But uh, this guy don't respect nothing. I mean, you can't even wait, you know, an hour you can't wait 30 minutes. You can't just wait till the whole court session. Like he would literally be good to go right now. He would be good to go. They probably would have, they probably would have got by without um them not knowing he didn't get piss test for the week. Cause he he get I guarantee he lied when he said he pissed test back to back. What does that even mean? You did it what the same day or back to back days? That 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 doesn't make sense. I, I guarantee he lied about that. He threw the excuse out there, judged it like that. But, like, yeah, man, he shot himself in the foot, man. Um, it's not that serious. As much as I smoke weed, you don't got to smoke it on camera before the court that you can, like, you can wait, dude. You can wait, you know. Uh, yeah, this is another batshit crazy story. 
And I hate to say, I hate to judge the book by the cover, but by looking at him on the video, once I seen him and see where this was going, it, it didn't surprise me, man. This cat just looks like a cat that just out here doing some dumb shit, man. He just looked like he's doing some dumb shit just by his facial expression, just by the way he laughed after, you know, he probably got locked back up because of it. And like they said, yes, it's legal to smoke weed where he was at, but he was not allowed to, um, once he was released, he's not allowed to uh, do drugs, which is, I think is, is crazy. I think that should be changed. I think that's the dumbest thing ever is if it's legal to smoke weed, um, I don't care what crime you committed, you know, he should be allowed to smoke weed. It should be, that shouldn't have been held against him, period. You know, the law itself is dumb, but him knowing the laws, he did the dumb move too, you know. So once again, I'll thank y'all for tuning in, Paul Pinkett Podcast, and I'm out.